Anyways, I'm curious. I need another set of leads for my house that have the smaller one from the Harbor Freight because I have another Harbor Freight machine here. You're going to see that Frankenstein monstrosity here in a sec. But I'm curious if you can actually use jumper cables as welding leads. Now, I don't mean hooking them up to a battery because I know a battery doesn't give you enough, or at least a 12-volt battery. I might be able to get away with hooking them in series, making a 24. But I'm curious if these clamps and the gauge that this came with works. I don't foresee any reason why this isn't going to work because really the only difference between jumper cables and welding leads is the ground clamp and electrode holder. But other than that, they're essentially the same thing. It's just thick wire running through. Now, this isn't as thick as I'd like it, but I do think that this is, well, I think four gauge should be fine with this. And, uh, oh, it's not four gauge. It's eight gauge. I was wrong, it says right there. So yeah, we're using eight gauge wire. Um, really kind of tempting fate here, but my welding leads on my truck are actually just a bunch of lengths of jumper cable that I found that were one gauge, some really heavy-duty jumper cable that I got, and I just bought two packs of them and soldered them together, so I have like 40-foot leads of uh, like one gauge cable. Now, you need zero gauge. Some people have like the 50 to 100-foot leads. You need zero gauge or double lot or whatever it is, the way, way thicker wire for that stuff, but since they're only 40 feet, I can get away with it. All right, well, here's the Franken welder. Now, it's a long story why this ended up being necessary, but... At the end of the day, I just got a new welder. But this thing is, believe it or not, as sketchy as it looks, it's still set, or it's it's still fun, it it'll still lay a bead. So I'm gonna go ahead and test it out and see if that works in the jumper cables. Okay, so here we go. I'm only just gonna do one little bead and then I'm gonna weld this on here as a clamp hanger and I'll call it a fair enough test. So here goes. At this amperage, if it's gonna melt, it should melt. So Granted, at a higher amperage, it would also melt if it was going to melt, but, you know, I wasn't thinking about it, that's just kind of how everything works, but anyways, here goes. It's definitely getting hot back here, but no signs of wear on the actual contacts. It's just more where the paint is. It definitely doesn't like to hold them straight, that's for sure, but... No surprises here, worked just fine. Um, it is a little bit of a pain to get the electrode to stay straight with these jumper cables, but it's simple and cheap to buy an actual electrode holder, you just cut that, but the wiring cable is perfect for it, or I mean, this didn't heat up at all with the little bit that I was doing. Granted, if you're doing it all day long, maybe invest in some nicer leads, but it does work, which is basically what I wanted to test, and I call it a successful test. Now, hopefully I eliminated one more excuse for you not to get out there and start burning some rod, but other than that, I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day, and God bless.